My name is Anil Abhimanyu Sharma and I'm the Indian chef consultant for The 100 Foot Journey. Today we're going to do a coconut chicken. First of all, a coconut is very auspicious for us Indians. For us, it is the entire earth inside. So we need to listen to what is going on inside. Okay? Once you have the water inside, you know that it's a good coconut. So there's a technique for breaking the coconut. Voila. Okay. That way you collect all the water that is inside and you have a coconut which is complete. Then you can cut it as you want into slices or big chunks. And we have all the ingredients over here in front of us. So we have ginger over here. We have uh, garlic paste. We have red onions. We have cashew nuts. We have coconut milk. We have curry leaves. Nothing to do with curry, but curry, K-A-R-I. Okay, we have uh, green lemon. We have salt, we have tomato paste, we have red chilies, and we have uh, shredded coconut over here. And the most important is the garam masala, which has about 12 different spices in seed form. I'm going to roast some of our cashew nuts in ghee. I'm going to use three tablespoons of ghee, and I'm going to throw in some red chilies, dried red chilies, and at the same time, I'm going to roast some cashew nuts. Throw in some fresh curry leaves that we were talking about earlier to flavor our cashew nuts. Here I'm going to use my garam masala. Okay. Great. And one bay leaf. We let it cook for about a minute. And then we are going to prepare the paste with red onions, garlic, and ginger. Stir everything in together. And you can already smell the lovely Indian flavors coming through. So we're going to let that cook for a minute or so. And then we're going to put in the spices in the powder form. So we're going to start with turmeric. Okay, red chilies, and I have my special madras masala, some coconut milk, voila, okay, you put a, a little bit of coconut milk and about 100 grams of coconut powder. We can add a glass of water very gently. And now I'm going to put some salt in it. And I'm going to put some tomato paste to give it the little tanginess that I like in my coconut chicken. And what we're looking at right now is one of the best colors we can have in our Indian cuisine. There's my chicken. Okay. Breast of chicken. We're going to put in at least four pieces in this paste. Before you turn it to the other side, you take a little bit of lemon, you squeeze it on top of just the chicken. So I'm going to add some more coconut milk now. Okay. And we're going to wait for this to cook for about eight to 10 minutes. Okay, as you can see, it's beginning to bubble inside. So you need to center your dish and turn it over. Because it cooks very quickly, coconut chicken is very easy to make. With the preps and everything, you can cook it within 45 minutes. We're almost through, the chicken is ready. We're gonna check out if everything is cooked. Okay, here we are. It looks perfectly well cooked and we're gonna serve it for our friends over here. Yep. Mmm, it smells fantastic. I can smell the curry leaves. I can smell the bay leaves. I can smell the coconut. And we can finish off with some fresh coriander leaves, which you call cilantro. Yeah? Voila. Bon appétit.